Good morning, day two, and we just set up our Hedu cam. So that way, while we're out today, if we need to spy on him, we can see what he's up to. Hanging out in the bathroom right now. Hi, Hedu! Mark's having sun chips before breakfast. I got hungry all flooding. We're gonna head out. We're gonna go get some breakfast uh, near the aquarium. The aquarium opens at 10. So as soon as they open, we want to maximize our time there. I think um, about an hour and a half, two hours will be plenty of time to enjoy everything that we have there. Unfortunately, it's still a really overcast, cold, slightly rainy day. So hopefully tomorrow there'll be a little bit of sun. I think there's also going to be some clearing uh, later today. Quite windy. There were so many birds, but where did they all go? There were tons of birds this morning. Oh. Look how tall the waves are. It looks like it's a, like yeah, it's pretty intense. So our uh, room is actually really close to the designated pet area. So this is where Hedy had his morning tea. He might have traveler's diarrhea because he hasn't pooped yet. <laughs> so, did you sleep well last night? Mm. Not bad, not great, so good. Them snoring tells me otherwise. You were in La La Land. Oh, but you're, you were snoring through your butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I did not realize how intense the waves, waves were, loud. were loud. Yeah, they were pretty loud. Well, we had the little like... Uh, it's like a little vent open, open yeah. Where you could hear the outside. up the spot <laughs> <laughs> I don't know um, you he's he, in the corner he's on my side of the bed right now The uh, salmon and cream cheese croissant uh, for here. Yes, please. And then for the other items, do we order up there? Okay. All right. So our breakfast just came out. Uh, we have the crumb cake here, and then this is the cream cheese salmon croissant. That's what I've been seeing. So I'm gonna actually see the inside. <laughs> There's like sesame stuff. Oh yeah. yeah, I see the salmon. I see the cream cheese. Mmm. Oh, Good. Like nice and flaky. They warmed it up for us too, huh? Just do a bite of the crumb cake. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. There's fruit inside. Oh, that's unexpected. Mm. I was gonna get coffee, but then I didn't want to have to use the restroom at the aquarium. So any kind of coffee goes right through me. James was debating: should I get a latte? Should I get a mocha? What's the mocha? You know, like I was like, yeah, get whatever. He wanted a hot drink because it's kind of cold outside. Yeah, it's really cold. But then he was then whispering, you know what? I shouldn't get anything because I didn't want to have to like have. Diarrhea. Or like you said something, but the worker was right behind oh, you oh, putting, putting back the menu back. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize. I might have a sip of yours though. Mm. Let's dig into this avocado toast. You see layers of avocado, there's capers, there's cream avocado cheese. Avocado or salmon? No, sorry. <laughs> salmon, cream cheese, capers, and Red onion. <laughs> nice crunchy bread. Sometimes I don't listen to games when he like talks, but then I was like, wait, what? Avocado. <laughs> Good. Mm. 
It's different than this. Definitely, there's red onions on here. Mmm. I like I like red onions. I think the capers add that tartness that I love. It's like bagel and box, but toast form. But I love it. Mm. Mm. We're just gonna pick some stuff up for the room that we need. Ooh, nice and toasty in here. What do we need? Treats for Hedu and paper towel. Mark went straight to the alcohol. <laughs> it has a lot of alcohol here. Compared to the Maybe they don't have it here now. Okay. So everything else? Do you need a bag? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can tell you. Okay. What does Teddy want? Give him something he's familiar with. Let's see. Let's not. Does he want chicken tenders? These? Or these? Salmon, because I had a bunch of salmon this morning. Okay. And Hedy wants to be like me. And then I think I just saw paper towels right here. Any stuff for the room? Do I want to do a face mask tonight? Do they not sell individual? Oh, well, we'll just pick up a pack and then we'll just only bring one up. So we just found parking. It's $20 parking for all day, so we might just leave our car here and uh, go to the jazz festival depending on where it is but there's already a group of people uh, waiting to get inside all these early birds no go back home there's enough room for everybody I want solo interaction with the sea lions This kind of reminds me when I went to DC and I had to go to a museum by myself, but I'm so excited you're like with me this time because <laughs> it's way more fun. Uh, we'll totally check out the aquarium store on our way out. So he said to go left or right, or right but you also get the nice view of the ocean that here. Nice what do you want to do, left or right? We're entering the ocean's edge. So we just wrapped up uh, at the aquarium and right now we are on this street called Cannery Row which I think has a lot of little uh, shops and restaurants. It's super cute. Super cute. So we're like 
why don't we just walk where we need to go to the next destination it's about 26 minutes away but we could always uber back later so oh what's an olive bar should we just do an olive bar thing i want to do an olive bar yeah we had to film a video with all these spices, spices. Olives. Maybe we should get some olives for a dirty martini bite. They have the crown <laughs> teas. Do you know this character? Yeah, she's queen of olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> we did an olive oil tasting like once in our life. James, take a shot. Is that how it works? You just get it. Hmm? Do it. Let's see which one sounds. <gasps> Did you see that? Look. Oh. Alright, so we just stumbled upon these one pot meals. All you gotta do is boil water, add package contents, don't drain, just serve. So there's all these different types of pastas with sauces. This is linguine with pesto. What do you got oh, there? Oh, putanesca, which oh. we made once. Yeah. It's, I mean, how good do you think the risotto is? I wouldn't mind trying the risotto. Might as well just get three then. We're such tourists. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do this for the Monday Live. Be like, we'll just try three different pastas. And you choose the last one. Okay, Mark found the umeboshi, umeboshi plum. Oh, this is oil? I thought it was vinegar. Oh. It says white balsamic vinegar. Oh, it's for sure. Ooh! You like it? Yeah, I mean, way better than apple cider vinegar. What, what would we use this with? It's good! Mark says it's good. It kind of reminds me of like cough syrup. Agrumado? I don't know if I'm saying it. It says it's hot. And they gave us some bread to test it with, so... Are you gonna, are you gonna sweat? <laughs> <laughs> it's really cold today, but maybe? Let's see. I've decided that I want to buy something. Oil or vinegar? I don't know, oil, but... <laughs> it's spicy? Not quite... Oh! I feel like we could just drizzle this on plain pasta almost with a little garlic. Mm. Like, it's like chili oil. Yeah. Mm. Look at how gorgeous it is. The clouds are slowly parting. It's so blue. Oh, it's so pretty. Now, if we were brave, we would rent one of those like kayaks and go out in the ocean. But the waves are so big though, no? Brave or stupid? Brave. I want to be with the birds. Okay, we are at the old fisherman's wharf. I think we're gonna try to find lunch around here. It's like a little boardwalk type vibe. Old Fisherman's Grotto, that's the one Rosie suggested, the sourdough bread bowl. Drinks just came out. Uh, Mark ordered a dirty martini, his signature. And me, they ran out of Coke, or they don't have Coke here, so it was either Pepsi or this. <laughs> so obnoxious. So I decided to get this. It's a Grotto pineapple for 19 bucks. It has rum, brandy, Orange curacao, pineapple juice, orange juice, a splash of Not bad for $19. No, I don't think so. This is definitely a vacation now. Let's have a taste test before. I'm gonna be lit at the jazz oh, there's festival. A straw, there's a straw. Huh? By the way, we're still, we're, we're, 
we'll show fashionably late to the jazz. Ooh, good. It tastes like um, it's good actually. Yeah. Technically, you could open this, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. We might be the smarter one. Mmm. Like, mm. Refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. This is clam chowder number two from our trip. It came in a bread bowl. Let's would, would you like some unfresh pepper? Yes, I love unfresh pepper in my clam chowder. Just gonna scoop some into my bowl. Start off with that. All right. Okay. I like this one better than yesterday. Really? And yesterday was pretty good too. Yesterday was pretty good, but this is just, I feel like this is Fisherman more like clam chowder. What, what's so different about it? The, the cream is different. Oh, it's like a, different. it tastes more luscious. Does that make sense? <laughs> is this a pineapple talking? It just, you try it and then, then, then laugh at me. You're so extra, especially because it got the pineapple. It tastes more luscious, I tell you. Okay, we're gonna play a game. Loser has to eat this bread cap in one bite. <laughs> oh, it tastes more fresh. Yeah, yeah, it tastes. Maybe that's the right word. Like. Like they got the clam out of the shell and yeah. made soup with it. Yeah, yeah. Seventeen dollars. Highly recommend. Totally shareable. Do it. It's so. The fish and chips definitely looks better than the diner across the street at home. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at these three pieces of fish here. Some tartar sauce. I didn't think to ask for malt vinegar. Did you want malt vinegar? Or you want cocktail sauce. Oh, cocktail sauce. This ketchup and cocktail sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the fish is flaky, the breading is good, it's not excessive. Mm. I've never seen cocktail sauce with fish and chips before. Me either. Crab cake. Mm. Mm. Should make plastic someone. These are good. Vegetables, we remember you. And then this is the hat. Yeah. Dungeons crab. Do you want me to crack for you? Give me these two. I just want one. <laughs> You've seen us eat crab before. Usually we just use our teeth. I was gonna use my teeth, but then we're like, oh, we're at a restaurant right now. They have bibs, but I don't think we need that. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's bright out here. Maybe because the inside of that restaurant was like darkness. They did not want you to know that the sun exists. Anyways, 
Uh, we just finished up lunch. I gave it a 4.2 out of 5. Slightly better than I feel like yesterday's dinner overall, but surface is okay too. Anyways, we are uh, walking four minutes away. I think it's the jazz festival is actually going to be in one of those like auditorium slash conference center type places. So I'm going to walk off some of this. Oh, I see my name right there. Do they have Mark? Mark is MIA. I don't see Mark. There's James. That's weird. And Olivia. They only have Mia, but not Mila. <laughs> Y'all, we just got to the Jazz Bash by the Bay. And Look at this quartet of, are these? Sea, sea otters. otters. Very just, on brand. We just saw them at the aquarium. So we snagged some seats on the end. Uh, the last musical act just ended, so I think there's 30 minutes till the next one. Yeah, look how many bands are performing. Oh, that's quite a bit. Well, it is a how many day event is it? Three days event. Yeah. Three day event, and then there's something every guest artist. James Lang. <laughs> I still believe someday. Okay, so here's the room. Like I said, it's like a little stage, like a little concert. No, there's multiple rooms. Which it's one do you want? Do you want four cards, cards and an ace? Probably, because you like gambling. But what about Le Jazz High? Hi. I oh, like Le, that. that's Le. your last name. Should we go to Portola? Where do we go for that? It must be somewhere around here. Do you want to scoop? Do you want to scoop stuff out? Right, we decided to switch rooms, and I think we're feeling the vibe in here a little bit more. This very nice couple kind of gave us the lowdown on everything, so uh, they're warming up right now. I asked Mark what was that instrument up there, and he said it was a guitar. I'm very cultured all of a sudden. It's a little warm in here too. I don't think they believe in AC here in Monterey. It's Monterey hot. <laughs> Totally different vibe today, huh? So clear, so blue. Oh, the seagulls came. Mark says the, the waves are a little bit taller today. I think so. Here are the Trader Joe's treat we picked up for Heidi. He was a good boy all day, even though we were spying on him. Hey, down. Down. Good boy. Hey, do. Turn. Hey, turn. Oh my, oh, oh my goodness. Uh, uh. Oh. All right, me and Haiti just had a nap and Mark just pulled some of his, we call it pluckables. And we're gonna release it into Monterey <laughs> right now. It's so windy outside, so I just want to. I just wonder if we'll even capture the footage. I just want the birds to use this as part of their nest. Okay, well, hey, dude, friends with the birds. Let's go see. Oh, we missed the sunset. Oh, that's why I came. I, that's why I changed into this so I could come see it. That did not go according to plan. It's cold outside. It's better lighting over here. Ah! Oh, here we go. Right here, right here. This is a good spot. I mean, you... Look 
Look at that. So I had to get another cup of clam chowder to compare. We'll see how this does. What, We've already... menu, the menu, what did the menu say? The best clam chowder. That's all it says. So we'll try that in a second. I was craving dolmas because we watched an episode of Beat Bobby Flay and they made dolmas on it with kale. So I was like, now I want some. And then both me and Mark love baba ganoush. So it's kind of, it's basically like a pureed eggplant dish. So let's dig in. You look like a, a king. A king. Like you. Oh, yes. Okay. Make sure we get some clam. Okay. I mean, of, of the three, this is the best one. Really? Because I feel like they didn't make it as thick. Yeah, so it looked more liquid. It looked liquidy, but I, I like that. I don't want it too chowdery, and it was a good consistency. So, really great leaves, and there's rice and all these goodies inside. So let me cut into one. You can see. And it comes with, I don't even know what kind of sauce this is. Some kind of yogurt. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Go for it. Mm. Dig into the baba ganoush now. Eat that eggplant, girl. I'm talking about this one. Or am I? We love we love ourselves a good baba ganoush. You can definitely taste the smokiness from the paprika. Oh, okay. Yogurt, it has honey. It's homemade. Homemade. Honey. Are those walnuts? It looks like one. Mark's gonna dig in. Is this dessert or is it breakfast? Well, that was a generous bite. Is it tart? It's tart. Mm. But I wouldn't classify this as dessert. It's for sure breakfast. <laughs> Como si me quisiera Hoy igual que ayer Abrázame Hachim 